Publius Cornelius Tacitus, Annales, Episode 18. Ad Hercule Germanicum Druso Ordum Octo, Upper Frenum Legionibus, in Possuit, ad Scirdrique per Adaptionem a Tiberdrio Usit, quamquam esset in Domo Tiberdrii Filius Juvenis, sedquo plurdribus munimentis in Sisteret. As Tacitus continues, he says, but Hercule, this is an interjection, and it means by Hercules, but we might translate it something like this. But, quite surprisingly, Germanicus, who was Ortum Druso, arisen from Drusus, this means the descendant of Drusus, octo legionibus apodrenum impossuit. Impossuit here is our verb. It's from impono, imponere, like so. It's a compound of pono, and it's taking here as its object germanicum, modified by ordum, so these are both masculine, singular, and accusative, and taking as the indirect object legionibus, which is feminine, plural, and dative, modified by the indeclinable adjective octo. But, quite surprising, he, Augustus, placed Germanicus, who was the child of Drusus, or the offspring of Drusus, placed him over eight legions, upper legionibus, at the Rhine, Apertrenum, that is, the Rhine River. And there is more. Augustus also ordered Usit that he be acknowledged ad Scirdri by adoption, or through adoption, by Tiberius. So, that Germanicus be taken by Tiberius as a son. So here we have ad Scirdri, which is a fourth conjugation, present, infinitive, and passive. It is a compound of ad and the verb skio or skira, so ad skirdri. He did two things, therefore, imposuit germanicum octo legionibus, and he usit ad skirdri que by adoption by Tiberius. So adoptionem feminine, singular, and accusative, very simple, object of the preposition per, which takes always and only the accusative, and then Tiberio here in the masculine singular and ablative, and this will be an ablative of agency, ablativus agentis. Then Tacitus will explain how this was somewhat unusual, Hercule. He says, although, quam quam, there was in the home of Tiberius a young son, Filius Juvenis. Quam quam here plus the subjunctive is a concessive clause, a concessive clause. Quam quam, quam vis, these can be concessive. Eset is third singular, and it is imperfect, subjunctive, active, of course, from the verb esse, and then domo here, in the feminine singular and ablative, a rare second declension feminine, with tiberdrii, masculine singular genitive, and then filius uinus, of course, masculine singular and nominative, as the subject of eset. And then, as the sentence ends, we have a said through in sisteret, and this is quite interesting because it demonstrates Tacitus's elusive and somewhat concise style. Instead of explaining things very clearly, he likes to just make suggestions and leave it to the reader to draw out the point. So he says, although there was in the home of Tiberius already a young son, but he did these things, quo in sisteret. So here quo is the adverb, and it's showing purpose here with insisteret, which is a third singular, imperfect again, subjunctive and active, from the third conjugation verb insisto, insistere. But he did this in order that he may rely upon insisteret pluribus monumentis, which I'm taking as neuter plural and dative, because this verb insisto often takes the dative, since it is insisto is intransitive. But he did this in order that he might rely upon more supports or more props. In other words, Augustus wanted to have many different irons in the fire, you might say, when it comes to the question of succession. So he put Germanicus, who was arisen from Drusus, in charge of eight legions at the Rhine, and at the same time he commanded that Tiberius adopt him or acknowledge him by adoption. Thank you so much for watching this free video. I hope that you learned a lot about the classical languages and advanced your knowledge and enjoyment. 
You can help us keep going with this instruction if you like this video and subscribe to the channel. We've had hundreds of thousands of views in the last nine years, and we would really like to grow our number of subscribers. If you hit the little bell, you will be notified every time we release a brand new free instructional video. You can also check out one of my Latin or Greek courses at latinperdm.com or mossmethod.com. Check the links if you'd like to study Latin and Greek with me directly. So keep learning and wale tote omnes.